In this video, we're going to focus on a quick and simple method of finding the z-score given the confidence level. Now, for those of you who want to commit this to memory, here are some common values. If you have a 90% confidence level, it corresponds to a z-value of 1.645. If you have a 95% confidence level, it corresponds to a z-value of 1.96. A 98% confidence level corresponds to a z-score of 2.33. And a 99% confidence level corresponds to a z-score of 2.575. Now let's talk about how we can get those numbers. So we said that a 95% confidence level corresponded to a z-score of 1.96. Let's talk about how we can get that. So first, we need to calculate the area under the curve to the left. And it's going to be 1 plus the confidence level divided by 2. The confidence level is 95%. If you divide it by 100, you're going to get 0.95 as a decimal. So this is 1.95 divided by 2, which works out to be 0.975. So let me give you a visual illustration of this. Let's say this is the mean, this is our positive z-score, and this is our negative z-score. Between negative z and positive z, the area of this region is going to be based on the confidence level, which is 95%. So this area is 0.95. The other 5% is covered by the area highlighted in blue. So it's divided into two parts. So 2.5% or 0 0.025 will be on the right and 0 0.025 will be on the left. So if we wish to get the entire area from the left up to positive Z, it's going to be 0 0.95 plus 0 0.025, which works out to be 0 0.975. So if you don't want to draw a picture, if you simply want to calculate that area, you could use this formula to do so. It's a quick and simple way to calculate the area under the curve to the left, and then you could use that to get the z-score instead of having to draw a picture each time and determine uh, the area that way. So here we have a positive z-score table. And as you can see, it's gonna give us the area to the left. So we want to identify the z-score given an area of 0.975. So first, we need to look for the value 0.975 in the table. And here it is. So notice the row that it corresponds to. We have the value 1.9. And then look for the column number, which is 0 0.06. So when you add those two, 1.9, plus 0 0.06, that gives you the z-score of 1.96. So that's how you could find the z-score given the confidence level. So if you know the confidence level, you can calculate the area to the left. Once you have the area to the left, you could use this table to get the corresponding z-score. Now, for the sake of practice, determine the z-score given a confidence level of 97% and a confidence level of 92%. So feel free to pause the video and work on these two problems. So find the z-scores that correspond to these two confidence levels. Now let's calculate the area to the left first using this formula. So it's 1 plus the confidence level divided by 2. So this is going to be 0.97 for the confidence level. So we have 1.97 divided by 2, which will give us 0.985. Now I'm going to do the other one simultaneously as well. So using the same formula, but the CL is going to be 0.92 instead of 0.97. And so we have 1.92 divided by 2, and that's 0.96. Now using the table, 
that we just used earlier, locate an area of 0.985. This should give you a Z value of 2.17. That's your answer for the 97% confidence level. Now, using an area of 0.96, this should give you a Z value of 1.75. So that's the area, I mean, that's the Z value that corresponds to a 92% confidence level. And I'm going to show you that with the table shortly. So here we are back to the table. Now, for a 97% confidence level, we got an area value of 0.985. So we need to locate that on the table. And here it is. Now, this corresponds to 2.1 on the left, and the column is 0 0.07. So we can see that for an area value of 0.985, this gives us a z-score of 2.17 if we add 2.1 plus 0 0.07. So that was for the 97% confidence level. Now, for the 92% confidence level, we calculated the area to the left to be 0.96. So we got to look for 0.96. So 0.96, where you at? So this right here is the closest we have to 0 0.96, 0 0.95994. And so that corresponds to 1.7 and then 0 0.05. So if we add 1.7 and 0 0.05, it gives us a z-score of 1.75. So that's how you could use the z-score table to convert a confidence level into an area and then the area value into the z-score. Well, the, the table converts the area to the z-score. You got to calculate the area using that formula I gave you earlier. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to find the Z score given the confidence level.